Hello, hello guys. Josh from Painting by Josh here. I just want to give you guys a bit of a rundown on the Graco Clean Shot. There's a lot of um, misleading information out there and a lot of confusion about actually what these do and how you do use them. So I will show you. I've got one just put on the gun. Okay, on the extension, I've got a 40 centimeter extension, run the FTX gun. What I've done, I've just put on the clean shot, guys. And I've got a new one here, just so I can show you and give you a bit of a rundown. Anyway, we'll open her up. Oh, wow. okay. 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 So this here at the back, your little dial, obviously it's got your spray and your flush, as you can see here. Always guys, when you are ever priming your gun, um, make sure it always is on flush position. You never want to have it on spray position before you go priming your gun, putting your tip in and everything like that. The best thing you can do is always have it on flush position pretty much until your guns are completely primed you've shot paint through already okay so what i'll do i'll quickly show you is, okay so what we've got going on guys now i've got this on as you can see the flush position she's wound all the way anti-clockwise as far as she can go make sure all your um Everything's fitted up completely sweet, tightened up, double check everything because the last thing you just want is turned on your gun, priming it and having a blowout of paint. Just creates um, a lot of mess, that's for sure, as we all probably would know. But anyway guys, so here it is now. We've got the gun. I'm just going to turn down. Just make sure she's primed all the way through. Okay, she's primed. She's ready to go. She's ready to rock. Always make sure Put a bit of the your throat seal in there. Every use, guys, comes in very handy. But here we are. Now I'm gonna obviously have my spray all the way down. Flick it to spray. Get up to whatever we need, guys. Just a quick thing too. This dial at the back has nothing to do with pressure. Uh, you can't control any pressure. You can't control the size of your fan, the width of your fan, anything like that. All this is, um, is a ball inside and all you're doing when you're going like this, you're just opening and um, freeing the ball and releasing it obviously. So it's just opening up and then when you're closing it. So that's all that is guys. So that's why you always have it in a flush position when you are going to shoot it out through the end anyway and have no tip in it and I'll give you so right now she's in prime gonna just prime her out through here okay not like that I'm not so now I'm just shooting out just shooting out all the water guys as you can see right now we're pretty much right to go so now now I've shot all my paint through there. She's been primed. Now we're right to um, put in our tip and dial it in, and we'll get it. We'll get 100% right anyway. I've got it on flush. Okay. Now I'm just going to turn my pressure down a bit. Um, turn my pressure down. Just giving it a quick prime now through. It's in the flush position. Okay, all the paints all the way through. So as you can see, this is in flush position with my tip in. See how you get the spitting and everything at the end also, you're not getting that even nice pattern. Okay, so what you wanna do, you just wanna wind it slowly, slowly in um, until you're just gonna to have to um, dial it in. That's pretty much all it comes down to. So, see how See how I've lost a lot compared to here to here. So you can keep going all the way guys until, pretty much until you um, get that perfect fan and you're el eliminating all spits at the end. This is what this is designed for guys. Obviously, um, best for when you're running the extension, 
okay? The clean shot um, helps with eliminating uh, all spits and splatters and everything like that when you want that beautiful seamless finish, but it does help guys when you've got to get up to stuff. Um, as I'll, I'll quickly just show you up there. So if we want to go through and spray or something like that, we can easily swivel it, okay? And we can get up to everywhere we need to go, okay? So that's another um, great thing about the clean shot. I love yeah, anything that where it's a hard hard or awkward place to get to the clean shot works awesome for that guys so that's pretty much with the gray code clean shot guys like i said you always want to have your dialed all the way out in the anti-clockwise position uh to the flush when you're obviously priming through your gun uh and you and you're getting it all ready to go once you've got your pressure up and it's exactly to what you want pretty all you have to do then um dial in dial it in guys so it's just turning obviously clockwise until uh, you're eliminating any splatters or anything at the end i was saying it has nothing to do this at the back here has nothing to do with the uh, the fan width or your fan pressure you can't control the fret pressure or your fan width from here um, all it is is pretty much shutting off uh, or opening up your clean shot valve inside here to eliminate spitting and i've so that's pretty much it guys thanks all for watching painting by josh and uh yeah happy painting much love peace